Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and this quick tip tutorial is about copying and pasting entire limbs. Let's say, for example, for some reason I wanted to change this character after I had already completely animated him, or set up his initial keyframe to have uh, two arms on one side instead of, instead of just one. Instead of being forced to uh, image by image reassemble a new arm, create new bones, uh, and all of the steps that would usually be required because you already have one arm assembled if you click the main parent bone of the section of a character or object that you want to copy and then press the Z key or Z key um, that will select everything that is a child of that bone as well. So it selected the other arm and hand bones and selected all of the images that are associated with that. And now what you can do, uh, one thing that works great with situations like this, is to hold control and now if you click and drag on the main bone or rotate with this little uh, circular rotation handle for the bone you'll see it creates an entire copy. Now I'm going to let go of shift I'm going to deselect all of that stuff and now you'll see I have an entire already perfectly duplicated and properly parented because the thing I copied was a child of the main torso bone so too was the child um, and it's all just ready to go just as you would need. Now obviously it's not on any of the other frames but again now that it's there I can select the main bone of this new arm, press Z to uh, copy everything, or to select everything I should say. Now I'm going to shift C to copy, and then if I want to I can go to every keyframe where I need to manually and press Control V, like this. Or another way I can do it that's more automated is to just press Control Shift V, which will be sure to paste that new limb onto every keyframe and then obviously it's already a child of the proper bone but you're still most likely go going to want to go in and hand adjust the position and rotation of the arm on each frame to make the movement more natural but that's it but there's one thing that you should always keep in mind um, the way copying and pasting works in Spryder is that uh, if the objects you are trying to paste are not yet in the keyframe, it will simply add those objects into the keyframe. However, uh, if, they are, if they are already there, what it's going to do instead of pasting duplicates into the keyframe is just paste the uh, transform data, the position, the rotation, whether or not it's stretched, and how opaque those specific objects are. So for example, here we have a character standing at idle holding a gun with the gun just you know the arm relaxed and the, the gun sort of just facing the ground let's say you wanted to create a version of this idle animation with the character hold, aiming the gun forward all you'd have to do is adjust your arm like so however you see fit and of course if you wanted to you can adjust this back arm to maybe make it look like he's holding uh, the gun or supporting the other hand or something and maybe do an image sw uh, swap for the uh, the back hand so it looks like it's supporting uh, the gun, the main gun arm. But anyway, once you have that all adjusted the way you want it, you can select the specific uh, bones that you actually rotated or changed position of to make this all work. Maybe I just did that one. I don't think I did, but we'll see. So you just select all of those bones, and you press Control C and then Control Shift V, and now you'll see that the whole animation has the changed arm positions. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching.